What is up guys, my name is Sean. I play drums for Kardashev. Today we're gonna go through the intro section to the song Glass Phantoms. Hopefully you've already seen the music video. If you haven't, please check it out. It's on Metal Blade's YouTube channel. We have an album coming out on June 10th through Metal Blade Records called Liminal Right. So the intro has got kind of two separate sections. It's got this really, really high energy tom part, which is actually a lot more tricky than it sounds. And then it's just got this all out, really, really fast sort of double kick alternating with blast part. But it's sort of strategically in chunks so that you can kind of get a little bit of relief and not just, you know, it's not like, like full on, like long distance running, like stamina. So we'll start by getting into the Tom part. The Tom riff, focuses heavily on the left hand. That didn't happen on purpose. It's just kind of it's kind of how I wrote it. It's it it's what I heard. Now the reason that we have this sort of over the head shot is so that you can really see what I'm doing on the toms. Otherwise, it just sounds like I don't know, a guy hitting a bunch of toms. This will show you a little bit more strategically how I'm using my left hand to, to sort of get the groove done. So I'm gonna play it fairly slowly. This song is at 150 and uh, I'm gonna just turn it down to 130. So it's still, it's got some speed, um, but it's a little bit slower so you can sort of hear what is going on and then we'll kind of break it down from there. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the left hand, it's just going constantly on that tom and it can really, really trip you up. I'm gonna play that pattern even slower now so you can see. I'm even tripping myself up trying to play it slow because it's, it's just not very, it's very counterintuitive. So I'll also play it on the snare drum so you can see the, act, the exact pattern. It's weird, right? It's a lot of kick and then left, right, left. And this can throw you off, especially if you're very used to syncing up your right hand and your right foot. As most of us are, but you can't do it in this groove. You just, it just doesn't work. So again, I'll play it around the kit again. So it's basically the same pattern, and then there's a few little um, uh, fills over top of it. The first time I hit the one tom, next time I hit two toms. One time I get a little bit fancy and I go. It's all very basic, but when you put it all together and also at speed, it's, it's pretty tricky. So I'm gonna play it at speed now. Like I said, it's nutty, it's fun, it's tricky until it locks in, and then once it locks in, it feels good. So this next part is kind of like the all-out speed assault. This is when Mark's demonic vocals come in. And uh, so it starts out with some very fast double kick achieved by heel toe. There's a lot of guys, maybe even you, who can achieve this without heel toe, but I find that heel toe just really helps me to preserve my, uh, my stamina so that I can get through the whole show without really, really burning out early. Starts with double kick, and then it goes into a blast. And uh, there's not much to this part. It's just basically speed and finesse. This part can be kind of tricky uh, to get in and out of the, the double kick and the blast. But aside from the speed and sort of the transitions, that's all there is to this part. It's not nearly as mess with your head as, uh, as the tom part. So I'm gonna play it, like I said, slower at 130. So 
So like I said, there's not really a whole lot to this one. Uh, it's just speed. Just good old speed. Um, so here it is, up to speed. As you'll see, that last part, there's not much to it. It's just, it's speed, it's finesse, it's consistency. All things that are very, very tricky at the high tempos, but I mean, if you're accustomed to playing at higher tempos, it's not, it's not really a technical tricky part. It's just, again, a matter of nailing the speed. So that is how you play the two intro drum parts to Glass Phantoms. Uh, please check out the album coming out June 10th on Metal Blade Records. It's called Liminal Right. This song is on it as well as a whole bunch of others. We're really excited to show you guys, and uh, I would love to see some covers of the song on the drums. Peace. <laughs>